Hi. In this video, we're going to construct a basic VR environment using Godot 4.2.1 Release Candidate 1, as well as using Godot XR tools for some animated hands. So let's go to the blog and uh, we'll see 4.2.1 here. Uh, go to the downloads and click on the standard version. You might find a later version, uh, but we're just using this one because it's got some nice bug fixes in. So. Once it's downloaded, let's open up the zip and just drag the icon onto the desktop. No need for an installer. And let's launch it. So we can also get rid of the browser now. So let's create a new project. We'll create this in the temp folder and we'll call the project Godot XR Demo Project. So let's create a folder for it and then create a project of the same name. The project is using the compatibility renderer, which is best for uh, for VR. So let's go to the asset library, do a quick search for XR, and find the Godot XR tools. So this is version 4.3.0. So this is going to have some script errors on first install because the plugin needs to be enabled for, for everything to build correctly. After that's all imported, then you can see the errors. So we'll fix that by going and opening up the project and uh, in the settings, enable the plugin. While we're here, in the general tab, we'll go and enable OpenXR and the XR shaders. Save and restart to have those settings take effect. Let's create a 3D scene, call it main and uh, save this. So, In order for this to render correctly, we're going to have to create a uh, sun and an environment. Uh, otherwise, when we play it, uh, everything will be dark. So uh, let's add an XR Origin 3D node. Uh, this is the uh, play area, if you will, for, for playing. So we'll add a camera, and let's bring it up uh, 1.8 meters, uh, you know, the average height for a human. Let's create an XR uh, controller 3D node for the left controller. We'll rename it to that. And set it to track the uh, the left hand and use the aim pose. And uh, bring it up one meter and over to the left 0.3. So let's uh, find in the Godot XR tools uh, and the hand scenes the uh, low poly uh, left hand. Drag that in. All right. Let's do the same thing for the uh, the right hand now. So create an XR controller node for the right controller. Have it track the uh, the right hand. And use the aim pose as well. Bring it up one meter and over 0.3 to the right. And uh, let's drag in the uh, right hand low that I've seen on there. All right, so there you have a basic player. So let's add a, uh, a static body 3D for the ground, and let's rename it to ground. And let's give it a mesh instance uh, so we can see it. We'll use a quad mesh, and let's set it uh, to be 30 by 30 meters and rotate it uh, to be uh, horizontal. All right, it's a bit bright. Let's uh, make a material on this and set it to be green. There we go. It doesn't look uh, quite as harsh as the, uh, the white there. So let's add a uh, collision shape 3D uh, so that we don't fall through it. Give it some substance. So we use a box shape and set it uh, to be 30 by 30 meters and one meter tall. But it's sticking up out of the ground by half a meter, so let's drop that down by half so it's flush with the, uh, the surface of the ground. All right, so to start XR when we play this thing, we can go to the Godot XR Tools XR folder and there's a start XR script. So with that in there, we can save this, set the main uh, scene as the uh, well as the main scene for Godot to play. 
So we take a look at the project. We've got our add-ons folder with Godot XR tools and the main script. So let's play this and there we go. So you see the uh, sky, see the hands, uh, fingers move in relationship to the controllers. All right, there we go. That's uh, that's the demo for today.